Hey guys, so today we will be working in the shade garden area, but first let's check out the daylily show. So these daylilies are lining the staircase all the way down to the center of the garden and they're starting to put on their show and they look gorgeous. But I've already been down here a bit. I've been trying to catch some tapples for my mom and dad's pond but upon catching these I realized these aren't actually tadpoles these are let me get this one real quick if I can well yeah there's one right there two three okay so these aren't actually tadpoles these are the red spotted newt and that's all I've been catching um, years before the tadpoles in the wildlife pond they have li literally been like the size of a dime that's how fat and healthy they are but I haven't been catching any at all and tadpoles are actually a food source for the red spotted newt so I'm thinking maybe they ate all of the tadpoles when the eggs hatched I'm not sure but I will be taking these to my mom and dad's pond I'm sure they'll appreciate it and I'm also going to be taking this butterfly bush the one that's self-seeded in the vegetable garden my mom has been wanting one so I figured I'd go ahead and dig this one out and take it to her while we're on our way over there and on another note check out how good this zucchini looks but let's go ahead and dig this up and go on over there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a drink of water. I didn't get as much dirt around the roots as I wanted. Kinda of a little dry over there, need to water the rest of the garden, but hopefully it's gonna love its new home. So, we have arrived. Let's go check out the front garden. We are back in the garden. Check these out. These are gorgeous. I love these. So I decided to work in this flower bed today because I have quite a few perennials I want to add and it is still in the shade. It's going to be about 85 today. So we're going to do a quick planting now that we're back from my mom and dad's house. Um, I do want to get that variegated rose of Sharon in the ground. I have some mulberry coral bells. Let's check out the bloom on this Gatsby Moon Oak Leaf Hydrangea. Gorgeous. So I have about three mulberry corbels I'm going to tuck in this area. 
and I have some delphiniums as well and another daylily I'll probably go ahead and pop over here so let's go ahead and get started first thing we are going to plant is going to be this variegated rose of sharon i was looking for the sugar tip kind but i came across this one summer ruffle and it's just as gorgeous so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the ground to shade out these hostas in this area And I see a, an invasive jumping worm. Kind of looks like a snake. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this worm. These are invasive. Lifting up the camera. Okay, so these worms are invasive and they move like snakes. They drop their tails. And that's one way that you know that it's not an actual, your regular native earthworms. And they thrash aggressively when they're disturbed. So watch this guy right here. Look at that. He's gonna move like a snake. And that's an evasive jumping worm. And they call them jumping worms because sometimes when they're thrashing, they can actually jump off the ground. But they are invasive in this area snake-like movements or did giveaway so I'm gonna get this guy out of here real quick I'm gonna add some plant tone fertilizer over here ease the roots a bit and it's going right here The Rose of Sharon is in. As it gets more mature, I'm probably going to limit up so you can see the branches a little bit more, kind of like in tree form. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mulberry corbels in. Third one, I'm gonna tuck right here. I'm going to go ahead and fertilize and water these.
The definiums are in, and I think I'm going to add a Bartzilla peony in the back where that kneeling pad is. I think the yellow would go good with the purple corbels. Just dug a jar out of the ground. The planting is complete. I went ahead and tucked in two delphiniums in the front. I added another clump of always afternoon daylilies. The daylilies in this flower bed, I believe all of them are always afternoon. I wanted to get a few more in. I tucked in some Asiatic lilies behind the delphiniums. Earlier on, I planted some stargazer lilies and only a few of them came up. I'm thinking I might have planted them a little too deep. So I wanted to get a few more lilies in. I also planted three mulberry corbels and this beautiful variegated Rose of Sharon called Summer Ruffle. Can't wait to see the blooms on that. And this Bartzilla peony was tucked in as well. I gave everything a good water and fertilizer. So I hope everything enjoys its new spot in the garden. Thank you guys for joining me on this garden task. Hope again to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. P.S. This is what always afternoon reblooming daylily looks like. So another beautiful addition to the garden. Thanks for watching.